Okay, guys, I'm back. All right. This next one is going to be from Seven Kids College Fund. Um, I only got a few things from them. This first one is a die from Sue Wilson. She's with Creative Expressions, and she has a ton of beautiful, beautiful dies. I wish I could get them all, but that's going to be one of those. I get them here and there. The only problem is, by the time you get what you want now, then there's already new ones coming out. <laughs> that's the case with every place you shop. And it's just hard. You know, you just can't buy everything and... You know, sometimes I wind up not even using some of it. And that's why, you know, people do de-stashes. Which, by the way, I'm going to have some more de-stashes. But I thought I'd wait till after the holidays. Okay, here's the first one. It's the uh, Festive Collection. It's a Snowflake Mini Striplet. That's what it is. It's really pretty. That's what the die looks like itself. And it is I'm trying to give you a measurement. It's uh, five and it's about five and a half by one and three quarters. So you can put that, you know, cut out two or three of them and put them across your card and all that kind of stuff. They've got several of these kind of strips, you know, some with butterflies and other different things on there, but. I like these snowflakes are pretty and then then she's got you know stuff that goes with this like some corner dies or a, a frame die that's got all the snowflake stuff on it and then I don't have a lot of penny black stuff uh, but she has got the cutest little things but I saw this when I had to get it. it's called stitches that's her little fairies with the um, sewing theme and here's what it looks like. It's the most adorable thing. Let me bring it up closer so you can see. Now it says, thank you for being so sweet. S-E-W. And let's see. There's one there sleeping. And then she's got this one that's on a spool. And um, it says, when life throws you scraps, make a quilt. And then, may your bobbin always be full. <laughs> so, those are just adorable. Hell, here they are in color. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and that's all I got from them. Um, they had a 30% off clearance so it was 30 percent off additional of what their clearance price was <clears throat> okay the next one is top dog dies um actually i've got two from them let's see the first one i have been wanting and wanting and wanting this die and i just kept putting it off and they've got these steel rule dies, but they're not as pretty as the Sizzix ones are. They're on a piece of wood with the die. But it's this is like a card. You can make it, it's the size of a card. They have one that's, that's longer that had this and then flipped is the other one. So it cut out in one piece. But I didn't figure I need to spend the money on that one. I can just do two and just, you know, I could do the same thing with that. So I just got this one. And then I got the inner piece for the card. This is the, um, this little thing around here is the inner piece for the inside of the card. And then it's got all these little things you can dress it up with these little things that go on the leg and the collar and, you know, things you can put on it like the little duck and the bear and stuff. So, and then they had this one, which is for the little dudes in your family. And I have a little grand dude. <laughs> And it's the little, um, I wish I had a picture to show you, um, but if you go on there, actually they're going out of business, so they were having all these on sale things, and that's why I went ahead and got it. Um, there was one thing I really wanted, and they were they sold out of it before I could get it, and it's one of the things that, that was the first thing that I wanted to get from them when I first found out, you know, from, you know, I found their site, 
and it was the the dye with the girl with the pregnant belly and then all the little baby stuff that goes with it and I said no I'll just wait and I'll wait and I'll wait and now look it's what I get for waiting so <laughs> But they rarely had sales, and I wasn't going to pay the full price for these dyes because they were kind of expensive. So I would wait until they had a sale, and even when they did, I wanted something else more than that one. And, well, now they're going out of business, and oh well. But I got a lot of what I did want, so especially this. I can't wait to, to play with that one. But that was the first one. The second one, this, the second one is when I found out they were going out of business. So I got a few more things I wanted. This is um, the inside of stuff that you put on a pumpkin, like the face. It's got two eyes, uh, one with um, eyelashes and one without, and then the face and the little thing that goes on the top, and here's the little topper to it. But I've already got two, I've got um, two pumpkins already so I didn't buy their pumpkin and I've got the pumpkins that'll fit this face so I just got the face and then I got this um, butterfly with the um, extra wing and it's really intricate and then this fan which is really really pretty there's a couple of fans I've been looking at um, and this is the one I this one's more intricate than the other ones that I saw and then there's another one I, I'm thinking about getting but I'm not sure since I got this one I shouldn't get it and then the last thing is this corset now I'm not too you know fond about making sexy stuff but um, I got it because I wanted to use it to do the corset part and then do like a skirt like a tulle skirt or a um, lace skirt or something like that and then have all this intricate stuff on the top and then this is the backing for it but um and then i saw some of the um examples where they turned it this way and this was the head up here and this went over the hips instead of having the boobies up here and then going down you know for this the hip they turned it like this and these were the arms and these go over the hips i thought that was a good idea too so I guess this is the more sexy and this is the more um, conservative, I guess is what you call it. But anyway, that was it from them. So that was that. Okay, and then, okay, I'll get these. And then this is from Ozo Ozak. I haven't, I haven't ordered from them a whole lot, um, only a couple of times. I have some good sales sometimes. Um, I got this snowflake, which is not a cut out snowflake. It's the one that'll cut it into your paper. Like it'll leave the, the cut out in your paper. It's not one you can cut out and then hold in your hand. It's not that kind. But isn't it pretty? All those pretty little things. I can't wait to play with that one. And then this one is um, the loopy loop. And I've been trying to get this one through some other sites, and by the time I got ready to get it, the sale was over or something like that, and so I finally found a sale that had it. And one, there was a um, a sample of a card somebody did where they they cut this out, and then in each of these things, they it was a uh, inlay um, technique, and each one of these they put in a very bright color just color not any pattern paper or anything but color so it was like a, a a big loopy loop of just different colors you know like a rain a circle rainbow and it was so pretty i mean i know it's going to take some time to put all those little pieces back in but it was just really pretty and i want it and they also have um a wreath with this same um cut out and a backing to it and the backing will fit on this as well um, I can't remember what it exactly looks like but if you if you go to the um, let's see is this 
uh, this is memory box uh, if you go to memory box and look at their new stuff it you, you'll see what i'm talking about the, the little wreath that goes with it and that's all i got from them okay then simon says stamp um they rarely had sales either and simon says stamp has so many different things that you can get from other people but they have it all in one place and i have a bunch of stuff in my wish list through them and they had a really big sale and i'm not sure if it i think it was this one and i said great i can get the things that i want well by the time i got on it the the most favorite things i really wanted to get were all sold out so again that's what i get for waiting because it was like toward the end of the sale so i wound up getting just a few things here the first thing i got was some um some um this stuff right here <laughs> um sequins it's the fall festival sequins for the fall colors so i got those and then remember when i was saying about the in and out um stitches dies that i wanted to get this is the square one it's got the in and the out you see what i'm talking about i had already gotten the round one um before all these sales from them so i've got the round one i got the square one and then i've got the oval one now these don't have very many dies to them like this has only got four let's see this one got one two three four five six well actually the square has six or seven and let's see what it measures it only measures uh four four by four and the smallest one um the smallest one's pretty small it's like a half inch um, but it's the in and out and then on the the oval one it only has four dies in it and then i got these um wavy scalloped stitches so they got the stitches in there too but they're in there wavy i guess that's why they call it wavy scallop stitches <laughs> and then i got the um daisies the stitch daisies i gotta quit buying these flower things because i like the way the stitches look but i like the plain ones too but i've got so many dyes of flowers you know and it's just i can't quit buying the darn flowers i gotta quit doing that Anyway, that's all I have for them. All right. Oops. I dropped my sleep wins. Okay, let's see. How, I'm on 12 minutes, so maybe one or two more. Okay. Um, this one is um, Impression Obsessions. Okay. I love their dyes. They're like the memory box and the poppy stamps and, you know, they're all in that same category. And so I got a few things that I've been wanting now. Kitty Crafts, if y'all know her, she does excellent, excellent job on cards. I mean, she, they're just so pretty. And she uses a lot of these memory boxes and things like that and these impression obsessions. I've seen her use these um, frame dies. And there's two of them. There, well, I think there's more to it. There's this this um rectangle one and then there's an oval one no it's not the oval it's a square one that i really like so i finally got this rectangle one that you can use the dies in different ways you know um so i can't wait to play with that and then i got this frame which is beautiful i've seen several um samples with this and it's just really really pretty um the middle cuts out the the square part cuts out and then the oval so you've got it's only one die but when it cuts it cuts out like three pieces let's see that and that and that yeah and then and let me show you so you can see if you'll see this these really skinny things when you cut it out you're going to have a really skinny border cut out see all the way down and it goes all the way around so it's going to cut out too so you're going to have an oval you're going to have this right here 
you're going to have the skinny little border and then you're going to have this the big border the real intricate border not border frame so and it's just, just really pretty I've only got maybe one or two other little frames that I can use but I really really like this one and then I've got I've been wanting to get a um, an umbrella but I couldn't find the kind that I really wanted I wanted to get one that had different cutouts for the top but I really like the shape of this umbrella some of them are like more ovally looking and and some of them are like really short or real long here and you know it just I just didn't like them but this one I like this shape even though it's only just one thing you know I can always um, paper piece it um, you know and do it that way so I could have different stuff on it so I got it and that's this is the size of it I've got a lot of ideas for that so and then I know Valentine's coming up and I just really love this it's three dies it's the two to the two cherubs and then the little um, arrow Isn't that cute and then I got a Sun and moon with stars and I got I've been wanting to get these for a long time too uh, and then I've got I've already got a, a fence punch and then this die and I think I got maybe one other die that's a different kind of fence but I've been wanting to get one of those gates one of those ornate gates but I can't figure out if I I can't decide I, there's two or three of them I'm looking at but I can't decide which one I want because they're all so pretty so <clears throat> okay I'm at 16 minutes so I'm gonna stop on this one and uh, I will get to another one talk to you later bye